Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, you can see where we are. We're at the north end of Beach Road and we're going to have a chat about um, newbies, first timers, beginners, whatever you want to call it, but people who can get addicted very easily. Uh, and it's really, it's information you really need to know before you come here. So, not only my channel, there's plenty of other channels giving this sort of information, but you need to pay attention because you you really really have no idea what what <laughs> sort of lengths these girls will go to to um to snare you if you like we're going to put it that way uh, and we're going to walk all the way down beach road to walking street which is quite a long way so we've got a lot of information to cover okay and halfway through the walk i'm going to show you something that will surprise you at the bottom of soy eight you wait till you see this now this chat is really a newbie's guide to getting addicted to patio bar girls that's the best title i could think of can't do any shorter than that uh, i'm drawing this information from personal experience by myself and also by several of my expat friends uh, and it's mainly about the very first time you come to patio now i would really like you experienced guys to put in the comments uh, any relevant information about that you'd like to share about when your first time was the very first time you came and how it was for you the very first time um, <coughs> but uh, the first time I, I came and my friends came each of us felt the same way um, completely blown away uh, by the amount of gorgeous girls everywhere not just in the bars, but in the streets, in the shopping malls, in the markets, everywhere, everywhere. Now for a single guy, it's just like arriving in paradise. And in fact you have, for as long as you can afford it. Your emotions will be overwhelmed, and you probably never experienced anything like it before in your life. Uh, and you're about to go through a two week or where, however long your holiday is emotional roller coaster ride you guys who've been through this first time emotional roller coaster ride please comment below and help the newbies to understand what they're getting themselves into uh, what you'll have trouble getting your head around is how natural it seems with a working girl in Thailand not just Patia uh, it's a world away from working girls in Western countries. I mean, let's just take two examples, which you may be familiar with. Amsterdam and Las Vegas. Now, I've been there, I've done that in both of those places. And in both cases, it was business-like, it was cold, and it was emotionless. And the first time I ever came to Patia, I was gobsmacked with how different it is. It's friendly and it's fun. It's like a normal great night out with the guys, but you're just paying a little extra for a little extra company. And considering everyone else around you is doing exactly the same thing, it makes it seem normal. And there's no guilt, no embarrassment. In fact, you forget that you're actually with a working girl. Uh, uh, and it feels like you just picked up one of the best looking girls you've had for years on your first night that's how good it feels so this feeling uh, that you just picked up this girl is what Patty is all about this is why guys get addicted to Patty. it feels like you're on a date which is emphasized by the fact that when you leave the bar with her after paying the bar fine of course uh, many guys will take the girl out for a meal together and maybe a nightclub and get drunk together and have fun together just like you would do with a girl you've met a normal girl you've met and then she'll start calling you darling and everything or tea like and what have you which sounds great uh, and then you go back to your hotel and have an amazing time together the next day around lunchtime you have an amazing time again uh, and at this point is when reality starts to step in again 
uh, and you have to decide if you want to cash up or continue to roll the dice. Do you want a second night with her or are you going to go for a change? Now this is a really important decision that you're about to make. You don't realize it at the time, but it really is an important decision. If you follow the one day rule, it should not be a three day rule in my opinion. That's way too long for most guys, well many guys, um, because they get hooked by the second day. Uh, so if you follow the one day rule, then you can never become too emotionally involved with any girl. Uh, you'll become a, a butterfly flitting from flower to flower which in many guys eyes is the way to do it that's the, the the safest and best way to do it many guys think like that right however if you're enjoying yourself so much with this girl that you decide to ignore all these rules that you've heard of then you're putting yourself at risk of becoming emotionally involved with this girl or should I say with this working girl to be more correct so if you decide to send, spend a second or a third or more nights with this girl she may start to open up with you uh, like showing you pictures on her phone of her family uh, who she'll make clear she has to support and she's the ma main breadwinner uh, and she'll comment something like oh the money you gave me on the very first day that's my grandma and I bought her a walking stick with that aren't you a good person buying my grandma a walking stick this is a sort of emotional trap that you get led into this is the sort of emotional bonding that you get sucked into. Uh, she's sleeping with you, you're going out together, having fun together, go drinks, go dancing together, sometimes she cooks for you, uh, and it feels like you just got a new girlfriend. The thing that you need to remind yourself of constantly is that it's all an illusion you've got to this uh, girlfriend stage very quickly because it's what she does for a living she knows men she knows what buttons to press to accelerate this girlfriend fantasy uh, and if she feels you have a soft heart uh, and there's a chance that she can stay with you for the rest of your vac vacation for a week or two it's easy work for her she doesn't have to go dancing in in the bars or clubs and she doesn't have to go off different customs all the time uh, it's far far easier work for her uh, and there's also a good chance that she could turn you into a sponsor who will send her money every month which is good for her but before it gets to the end of your vacation there's one last thing that she will want from you and that will be some gold she'll say something like um, she'll miss you so much and uh, she would like something that she can think about you all the time when she looks at it constantly and a nice gold ring would do beautifully now bar girls know that Western men consider a ring to be a symbol of love or belonging if you like so she'll use that as an, an emotional connection to get you to buy her a gold ring uh, and the bigger the ring the more your feelings are for her <laughs> something else that you need to know is that in Thailand gold is so pure that it's considered to be a second currency and it's used as a second currency so any gold bought from any shop can be returned to any other shop and exchange for cash uh, you need to be careful because these girls are experts they know how to pull strings and uh, tell you everything that you want to hear 
that you've never heard before from other girls, often enough. It happens regularly that guys get bowled over by the first girl they meet. Uh, they have a really good night and then they have another good night and then another good night and it just continues and before you know it the two weeks three weeks whatever the holiday length is is gone with one single girl and of course in that time you've got really involved and then of course you uh, when you when a time comes to go home it's difficult for the man um, and uh, the girl is sort of saying oh uh, you know I'll miss you I'll miss you and everything and all that sort of thing and um, I don't want to you know work bar I don't want to go with anybody else and and this can then end up in a, a sponsorship situation not what you want to be honest with you so in order to avoid that situation people suggested why not have a three-day rule where you change the girl every three days no matter how much you like her because uh, it, it ends up that you, you go, uh, she comes to the airport with you at the end of your holiday uh, just to make sure that you don't go with anybody else she'll actually come to the airport in the taxi with you and then get the taxi back um, to Pattaya and then of course she'll start again with another guy the next day uh, and be telling you oh I miss you I miss you and she's just off doing exactly the same thing with somebody else uh, that's what can happen and does happen it's not all the time but 90% of the time I mean at the end of the day what's she here for she's here to make money for her family and the family is all that matters um, her, her often has a, has a child you know to take care of and their mother and the father and their grandmother and the grandfather and the cat and the dog and everything back in Isan she needs your money to take care of them or if not your money then somebody else's money and so on uh, that's just the way it is that's what the whole thing is set up for as you know so three day rule which I think for a, a complete newbie should be a one day rule as I said before because in three days it's long enough to get involved for a newbie absolutely long enough to get involved and then they've had it once she gets her, you know, her uh, claws into you if you want to put it that way <laughs> anyway um, that's what the three day rule is and it's for your protection and I think it should be a one day rule yeah. now this three day rule idea is really for guys who are coming just for to have a bit of fun okay and not get involved however there is almost the opposite if you like some guys don't want that some guys are looking for a girlfriend experience or a GFE right that, that's some, what some guys want uh, and that's fine for some guys but only ones who are uh, experienced let's put it that way don't really get too bowled over too easily because um, what that is is you you want the girl to behave not not behave like a working girl but to behave like a girlfriend and to be with you and uh, go shopping go eating and, and and treat you like a boyfriend and some people really like that uh, and that's a girlfriend experience uh, and stay with the girl for a while but you can't do that and then uh, if you're the type of person who gets emotionally involved too easily um, you can only do that really uh, if you're the sort of person who, who's a little bit sort of harder or more experienced uh, I think um, otherwise you'll end up being a sponsor uh, and that's that's a mugs game in my opinion often enough I mean obviously there are exceptions uh, but it's quite often not a good idea to be a sponsor another thing which I get asked quite often by newbies beginners is um, how do you establish a good short-term price with a girl okay uh, how do you do that how do you establish that uh, well the first thing you do is you or rather you don't do is you do not go directly and ask them and you do not go up to a girl and look at her and say oh how much never 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 it's very insulting never 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 do that okay you cannot assume just because they work here that they're working girls because they may not be 
uh, it's probably 10, 15, 20 percent, maybe a little more, who are not working girls and walking around the streets. You can generally tell by the way the way they dress. You don't ever just walk up to a girl and say how much. That's not on. Okay, it's she'll feel insulted and she won't like you instantly and she'll either walk away, ignore you or give you a super high price. Okay, so that's not what you do. If you want, uh, you obviously you want the best experience, which is equally as important as the cost. Um, and to get the best experience, you need to establish some rapport and chemistry. Put simply, you really need to chat her up in the same time-honoured fashion that, you ha that people have done for years, um, for a while, and see if you like her and see if she likes you. Without this type of interaction, the experience will surely be cold and unfulfilling. So, if you like the look of a girl in a bar, it's simple, you just sit down and buy a drink, her a drink and talk. Now, if you like a look of the girl on the street, it's a little more complicated. Uh, what you would do, you certainly don't go and say how much, what you do is you, you go up and you say two Thai words, which is the simplest way to approach a girl, and you say, by nigh, okay? Now, that's a, a phrase which uh, is used all the time by Thai people all the time. Now that's recognized as the first half of a regular phrase, it means where are you going. But the second half of the phrase is by do I, which is we go together. And the girl will know this, any girl who, who, who's in party will know this phrase, this by an I, by do I. Uh, if she says by do I, it means she likes the look of you and let's go together. So, when you say by nai to a, a girl, she'll immediately know what your intentions are and she'll react accordingly. Uh, uh, and she'll show you the way she feels from your appearance. And she'll either ignore you and walk away or she'll show some interest and will stop and start chatting. Which ob obviously means that she's available. So you only need to remember two words, by nigh. You don't need to wonder what to say or use some cheesy pickup lines like you would in the West. You just say, by nigh. And then if she do does stop and talk, don't delay. Say, we go together, or by do I, which means you go together. We go have a drink. And immediately take her to the nearest bar or a coffee shop or whatever to establish rapport which can take anything from what 30 minutes to a couple of hours depending on you and how you get on um, but before you start talking business being no doubt by the way this is a business arrangement even at this early stage or especially at this early stage should I say not until rapport is established do you start talking money now when you do start getting down to chatting about money you never ask how much never do that you establish the price you tell her how much you can pay you know um, for ST I can give you X uh, is that okay and she will either say yes or no, depending upon how she feels about things. Yeah, uh, not only the money, but also how she feels. Um, but the reason that you never ask how much is because it, there's two reasons. Um, one is that it gives the girl a chance to overcharge, which many will do. So don't give her that opportunity. The second is that she may ask for more than you want to pay. In which case, you'll then have to come back with a lower offer and she'll lose face because you're implying that she's not worth that much. So, don't do that. You just tell her straight out how much you can pay. Uh, and either way, it'll be a yes or a no. So that depends on how good a rapport you've created. And if you've created a good enough rapport, it'll be yes. 
Now we just passed across the road at uh, the end of Patia Clang, you know, which runs all the way up to um, Big C Extra. So that's the end of it. So and then an we go along here and we get Soy 7 and Soy 8. By the way, you may have noticed my voice is a little bit sort of gruff at the moment. Uh, that's because of, of the water at Song Cran. I got a, a, a throat infection from Song Cran, from the water. Uh, I didn't tell you what time it was. It's actually a Saturday morning at 11 a.m. That's the time that this is now. So if, we just, if you just look to the left over there, you see um, Burger King. Well, <coughs> Soy 7 is just... Ne ne be well, Burger King is between Soy 7 and Soy 8. Now we're down at uh, Soy 7, Soy 8. And as I said at the beginning of the video, there's a bit of a surprise for you guys who go drinking at the bars of at the bottom of Soy 8. A little surprise coming up for you. Are you ready? That is the bars at the bottom of Soy 8, as they are now. Totally ripped apart. Uh, about three or four of them. I think. I think well, there was that one. There's the other two. Uh, the one, the very first one, was still active. But I don't know what they're going to do. Um, presumably, it's the same owner because they're all being done at the same time. But it's, it's a total rebuild. By the look of it, why not? So <laughs> can't go drinking there tonight, <laughs> guys. Sorry. Don't think they were going to be open tonight. I know they work fast in Thailand, but I don't think they work that fast. Now let's just cross back over the road uh, onto the the beach side and carry on with the with the chat. Mm -hmm. Another question was: Is there anywhere that you should not bar, bar find a girl from? And the answer is yes, uh, absolutely. Uh, if you are coming for a week or two, do not bar find a girl at the beginning of your holiday from any bar that's very near your hotel that you have to walk past whenever you are going back to the hotel and you'll probably be taking a girl with you because if you bar find a girl from one of those bars, they'll get comments, there'll be various things said to the girl that you're walking back with later. <laughs> so leave that to the end. If there's a girl you like at a bar near your hotel, then leave that till the last few days and then do it then and then it's then after that you leave okay you don't want to be walking past the hotel uh, the, the bar back to your hotel with multiple girls getting multiple comments in Thai language that you don't understand <laughs> Another question which uh, you, you've asked is, uh, can you bar find different girls from the same bar on different nights, like maybe consecutive nights even? Um, can you just go to the bar and bar find one girl, and then bar find the one who is sitting next to her, or standing next to her, and so on and so on? And the answer to that is probably no, um, unless you're up front at the very beginning um, saying, that when you go first go to the bar you chat to all the girls and say I'm a butterfly I uh, don't have a girlfriend I don't want one girlfriend I want to take many many ladies uh, and make it very clear that you are a butterfly uh, and and you can then say uh, I want to take you and then you and then you and is that okay and the girls will be qu quite okay with that because one reason they won't lose face. Losing face is the worst thing. So if you did it the other way around, if you picked a particular girl and chatted her up and, uh, and took her and everything, uh, she uh, basically claims you, gets dibs on you. She, you're her customer then. So if you then go back the next day and pick a different girl, she loses face. That's not acceptable in Thailand to lose face. So 
if you make it clear at the very beginning when you first approach the bar completely uh, that that you are a butterfly and you want to take different girls is that okay with them all the girls will say yes it's fine because there's no losing face and that's the only reason well besides the fact that they lose your money <laughs> which is another factor they don't want to lose your money but um, losing face is is worse than even worse than losing the money so uh, that's another factor which uh, you need to uh, be aware of losing face don't put a girl in a position where she loses face because she'll uh, he will not be happy with you uh, but uh, yes you can do it but if you do it in the right way uh, as I explained okay about this losing face business I mean I remember years ago uh, when I didn't really understand everything um, I took a girl from bar and then went back to the same bar maybe a few days later uh, maybe a week later and found a much much more attractive girl at the same bar so I took her um, and continued to take her for a few days and since then I mean this is years ago okay if I ever come across the first girl uh, she puts her head to one side and looks away and absolutely totally blanks and ignores me and that's years and years later she still does it <laughs> uh, that, that's how strong the feeling of uh, losing face is it lasts for years and that's happened with twice with two girls and they both still blank me years later <laughs> that's how strong it is So another question uh, is about massage shops and uh, which ones offer happy ending and which don't and how do you know which is which and what have you basically. Um, well where they are is a, a big factor uh, if they're and also what they look like and what the girls are dressed in is a huge factor. So for example the ones on second road um, <coughs> they look they're big fancy places and they look nice and they're, they're, there's there's an open glass front here and they're, and they're big fancy chairs and everything and the girls are all dressed in, in, in uniform uh, those are proper massage places where they do proper Thai massage and everything uh, if you want oil massage you can do it in the back but they, you, you get a massage and that's all you get uh, as a rule in that type of place um, so you you just look at it and you, and if it looks reasonably like fancy looking good looking then it's probably uh, a genuine massage place now if you compare that to um, for example uh, soy pot or soy honey or uh, the ones on uh, uh, the third road off off second road up near um, near the Siam Siam uh, that type of place uh, for a start the girls are not in normally in uniform or quite often not in a proper uniform and the place looks a little bit like a down sort of slightly more down market more down a side street that is the sort of place where you get the happy ending or more um, so it's, it's really it, you get to learn it's fairly obvious once you learn which is which is which you know so just going away from the girls questions uh, there is one uh, financial question I get asked a lot and that is can you use credit or debit cards from your own country in Thailand when you come to these bars and pay for drinks and this and that or the go-go bars or the bars anywhere uh, and the answer is absolutely never do that never 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 and I mean that never do that okay only places you ever can use uh, a proper bank card your own bank card uh, would be uh, a chain hotel like Hilton or something like that that you know you can trust or uh, something like a supermarket like Big C or something like that 
that is the absolutely only place or a bank of course to go on in it, to get money out from a, from an ATM inside a bank those are the only three places that you ever ever use a, a, your own personal credit debit card or whatever never ever ever use it in any of these dodgy places like a uh, go go bar or whatever never because they, they can they get cloned they, uh, or they'll run it through again They'll make, they'll make a copy of it and they'll run it through the following month they'll just run it through again uh, when you're back home you'll suddenly see something from uh, a go-go bar in Patty appear on your statement like after you've been home for a month and think what the hell and what are you going to do about that you're going to go to the bank and say oh this go-go bar in Patty that I went to blah 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 put money through yeah are you going to do that you're going to go to the bank and embarrass yourself no you're probably not um, so and I, uh, also it can be much worse than that it can actually clean your bank out, account out so never 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 use them okay <laughs> have I said it enough <laughs> never use them okay only use cash here. it's a cash society uh, and it probably will remain like that for a while I mean you get people using credit cards in Big C quite often you get Thai people using uh, debit cards in Big C um, but only places like that, never any of these dodgy places and not even a, 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 an ordinary hotel only a, 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 an international chain hotel in my opinion um, you can't even trust ordinary hotels with that sort of uh, stuff so anyway that's <laughs> that's a no-no all right you've got that clear so we're down to walking street guys thanks for staying with me um, don't forget Patreon. Have a quick look because uh, it's just, it's all advert free. And please subscribe and like and share. Ring the bell. Please share, especially with your friends. Uh, and uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. I shall see you on the next one.